if we are not anticipating. So, panic, panic. If you're forced to do it, then it's a panic. So, when we do pastel <coughs> analysis, then we are looking at requirement, legislation, the legal environment. This is the anticipated legal environment. You can get lots and lots and lots of that information from political campaign speeches, from caucuses. Listen to them, listen to their pledges, listen, read and listen to their manifestos. What are they saying? How friendly are they to the environment? How friendly are they to union? Are they going to suppress the work of the unions? Or are they going to give the unions more power? Are they going to allow unions to dictate how managers should <laughs> um, control the organizations? Or are they going to say now, 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 now to unionism, no to unionism? No to wild cat strike. <laughs> okay. Now to sit down strike. Now to sympathy strike. So what's the industrial relations going to be? All these issues are associated with the possibility or the necessity for change within the organization. If we can predict them, then we will avoid having the change forced upon us, and therefore us having to react to them, costly to, to react. Rather, it is less expensive, less costly, less toxic <laughs> as we would work to plan the change and to implement the changes rather than having to say, okay, now we are, we are, we are forced to do this, we, let's get hands and hearts together and do it. So, we spoke earlier on and yesterday about systematic operational review, which is, again, a mission progress reevaluation as to where we're going, where is the mission, which direction are we heading, how far are we from our goal, uh, where exactly, what's our destination. What does it take? Do we need a boost in order to get there? Do we need to change direction? Um, okay, so 